Hello, it's the Dazzling One with another Real Life Talk. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to get over it. Just get over it. Well, as you heard it, I am doing a topic of just get over it okay so the reason I decided to do this topic is because earlier because earlier today one of my dearest dearest friends was upset about something that happened yesterday she completely has the reason and she completely has the right to be upset that is not the problem the problem is that she's still upset today about something that your pet peeves, which I think is a lot of people's pet peeves, is when somebody she had a problem with somebody lying to her. And she's still upset about it today, which under the circumstances could still be normal. I mean, it's extremely normal. So what I'm saying is this. I read a quote, and I know I'm going to butcher it, but I got a quote somewhere. And I'm going to put some different quotes that will pop up in, in the video here and there in this live talk. Don't let someone take up space in your mind because they are not paying rent to be there. Wow, 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 wow. So, okay, so uh, don't let somebody take up space in your head because they are not paying rent to be there. So, with that being said, it was like, uh, <laughs> I read that quote, heard that quote, like, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago. And it just like, you know how you keep stuff in the back of your mind and it's just like, oh my gosh. And, you know, there's some things in life that are monumental things. And those are going to be things that you're not going to just be able to psh, psh, get over those things they're, they're, they're life-changing things and then there's things that are kind of like a medium of the road you'll be irritated a little while and then you move past it the problem is with little things and I'm not saying somebody lying to you is a little thing I'm not saying somebody taking your perfect example somebody takes your parking spot you both are coming into a, a, a parking lot and you're both going for the same spot okay and they beat you to it. They got in there. You are so mad. Like the nervous person to, to take my spot when I was supposed to be there first. And now you're angry. So you get out of your car. You're stomping into wherever you're going. I can't believe it. You know, and for some people, they're throwing the bird. They're cussing. They're angry. Their blood pressure is like race raging. Somebody cut you off in traffic. You're all upset. All of this. And now that you've you've allowed that one little situation to ruin your whole day. Now, it's not a big deal. You got to park someplace else. It's not a big deal. They cut you off, and but you were able to kind of maneuver and get back where you needed to be. The problem is when you take that situation, and I'm using that as an example, and you marinate on it like you do with meats or, or you know vegetables you marinate and let the flavors get into it you marinate you process you build you build you build and you allow that to take space in your head to keep you angry to keep your blood pressure raised to keep you angry when you should let it go this ties into another subject I might talk about at another time. I just really have to map out how I want to go about approaching it. But we all, you know, we all got different emotions. We all got different feelings. We all got different experiences. We all are coming to the table from a different place. You know, from, you know, I got a problem with this because people always teased me about it or I got a problem with this because I always felt neglected or I got a problem with this because you know I always felt like nobody wanted me around or you know whatever we all are coming to the table with different things but the point is how much power are you going to allow someone else to control you 
So, the person took this parking spot. Now I got to park five or six spots back. Okay. Okay. And I'm irritated by that. They're like, huh, I didn't realize you were trying to get it. Or uh, who knows what their thought is. Who knows? They're, at this point, they don't matter. They don't matter in the equation. You just move them out. They go on about their day. They're happy, you know, and you're still over here pissed off about it. You're angry about it. And, it, and, and you have a right to be angry. Do not get me wrong. When something happens to you, big, small, little, whatever, you have a right to your feelings. You have a right to feel the way you feel. The problem comes in when you allow that thought, that situation to marinate, that you're so, so angry about it the next day, especially if it's a small spot. I mean, a small thing. I'm not talking about, oh my gosh, you lost your job or somebody, you know, set you up at your job and you lost your job. I'm not talking about nothing on to that degree. I'm talking about small things that you got to kind of be able to move past them. You have to radically accept uh, things you got to accept that people are going to be people and what is that saying the only person you have control over is yourself how you respond how you accept and how you react so I'm going to do a little more um more on this topic because it's going to tie into another topic but I just want to kind of leave it at that is like you have to get to a place and it's not easy I'm not saying it's easy it's going to take you a long time it may take you a long time it may take you a little time especially it may be a long time if you've been this way your whole life for example want to be miserable about what somebody else is doing or what they did to allow you to miss out on happiness that you can have now because you're worrying about what they did then just kind of think about that just kind of think about that and the comments that I'd like you to put at the bottom is if you found a way to move past something that might have been a negative situation and you found a really good way of um, moving past it maybe even just acknowledging the fact I'm upset. I'm upset that this guy took my parking spot. I'm upset that this person cut me off. And I can acknowledge those feelings inside, but on the same count, I can move past it because I didn't lose anything and I'm still here. If you look at it like this, on the big scheme of things, is it is it is it going to change my life? Is it going to change how I feel about myself? Is it going to change how my day progresses? It can if I choose to let it. So this was a dazzling one with uh, another life talk. Get over it. Have an amazing and wonderful day. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.